In the last part, Titus uncovers the truth behind Project Aurora, and it deeply troubles him. The project, a weapon of immense power, draws from the very force they've sworn to fight, chaos. This revelation hits hard, for it revives a grim memory from his past. Some time ago, on the planet Gaia, Titus encountered a similar source of chaos energy. It unleashed such destructive force that it nearly tore the planet apart. Though Gaia narrowly escaped total annihilation, the scars of that battle were forever etched into Titus' mind. Now, seeing the same dark power at the core of Project Aurora, he is haunted by the fear that this new weapon may lead them down the same path of destruction. to go. Attention. I will not concede another loss to our enemies. enemies. Brother, you seem troubled. I tire of reckless fools. I hope you do not mean us. Not unless you worship the Omnisire. Ah, then I share your distaste. Approaching landing, sir. The temple is located inside the dome section of the city. We'll have to land outside and make our approach. Good hit. Place for emergency landing. Lock armor. of Jove, report. Minor damage. Tech team is inbound. Can we depend on you for extraction? Yes, Lord. We will be there. Very good, brother. The Emperor protects. Make haste. We have considerable ground to... What was that? Looks like a Neurothrope. Placed on Overwatch inside that building. Nothing gets across with that beast up there. What are we up against? It has its rear covered and we do not have the manpower to break through. The Cadians are holding the bridge. At great cost. Set up assault positions by the bridge. We'll deal with the Neurothrope. Very well. We will avenge them, brother. Watch yourself.
one last hero to open the gap. Victory is ours, brothers. Morales, this is Titus. Your men are clear to take the bridge. By the Primarch, I had little faith I would hear from you again. Will you be joining the assault? Our path leads to the dome. It is report. The damage is worse than I thought. Tech priests are working on it now. Keep me updated. Brothers, let us proceed. Tadians are driving the Tyranids back. The Xenos cowards walk in a fair fight. Need a ride, brothers. Sergeant, good to see you. The Cadians have the bridge under control. Thought you could use an extra hand. A welcome offer. Climb on. The temple is this way. Lieutenant, the Cadians are requesting support. Go. Thank you, brother. Ultramarines! Have the enemy infiltrated the dome? No, my lord. What about the Temple of Thassian? The dome was evacuated days ago. Rejoin the main force immediately. Our orders are to remain here. On whose authority? Captain Fairburn. We are to hold this position until further notice. The dome is empty. Now move on. But, sire... I gave you an order. Forgive me, my lord. Perhaps there was a communication error. The captain insisted. The deserters. No, no, no. We have our orders. Box your captain. If you are deserters, I'll execute you myself. Captain Fairburn, come in. Captain Fairburn, come in. Ambush! Thousand Sons are one of the traitor legions of Chaos Space Marines who are sworn solely to the service of Zinch, the Chaos God of Change, Intrigue and Sorcery. Though they were once the Imperium of Man's 15th Legion of Space Marines, the main feature that distinguishes the Thousand Sons from the other traitor legions is the sheer number of cycle mutations that have always existed among the Space Marines in this legion. Every current member of the Legion possesses psycho abilities and they prefer to use Chaos Sorcerers and Guile in combat, relying on their psychic powers and sorcerer's knowledge to earn them victory. As a result of an ancient spell known as the Rubric of Ariman that was cast soon after the Thousand Suns fell from their homeworld of Prospero, during the early days of the Horus Heresy, every Thousand Suns Astartes that lacked psychic powers had his soul fused directly into his power armor. The Thousand Suns have become living embodiments of sorcery, animated by the power of chaos and the will of the Lord of Change. The Thousand Suns are the science of the Primarch Magnus the Red, the copper skin Cyclops, whose thirst for knowledge in all its forms led ultimately to damnation and an eternity of servitude to Jinch, the chaos god known as the Changer of the Ways. Titus to Captain Akaran. Akaran here. We were just attacked by the forces of chaos. You're certain? No doubt. Heretic Astartes and their minions. Throne, dammit! Do you have? 
lava loose. Negative. We're minutes away. Find him and get him out of there. Hurry! What are we waiting for? Sergeant, check the perimeter. Yes, brother. Explain yourself. Need I justify my hatred? You need justify your recklessness. The traitors have a debt to me. And you will throw away your life to collect? Death is my duty! Your duty is to the Emperor. You will die when and where he so chooses, not over some personal vendetta. Do you understand? Lieutenant, you should see this. some kind of shield. The altars. Same ones we encountered earlier. They must generate the shield. Destroy them. Then purge these abominations from the face of this world. Titus, the Lance of Jove, status report. We are patched up and on our way. See you at the objective. The Emperor protects. Lance of Jove, stand by for extraction. Affirmative. In the name of the Emperor, open the doors! Morius Luce. I owe you my existence. Come with us. To where? The Battle Barge. Compliance, but I must speak with Archmagus Nozick at once. He's dead. Dead? You are to replace him. Uh, Lose.
power source. It's dangerous. I have spent my life studying it. I assure you it's quite safe. In the right hands. Arrogance. Arrogance. Why must the Mechanicus meddle with the unknown? We follow the will of the Omnisire. Go ahead. Titus, report to Captain Akaran immediately on arrival. Confirmed. Titus? A Captain Titus was killed on the Forge World of Graia over a century ago. He died holding the power source in his hands. Not even an, an Astartes could survive power of that magnitude. Morius Luz, come with me. Report to Captain Akaran. Log those Promethean links immediately. I will need a repair crew before my next flight. Every small task is a disorientation of glory. What was that between you and Luz? Irrelevant. I disagree. That is your right. Brother, we only want to help you. Help! You almost cost us the mission, and now you speak of help! Lord! Heretic Astartes. They're showing up in every hive city on Avarax. We're already overstretched by the Tyranids. The traitors have us off guard. The Adeptus Mechanicus tell me Aurora is ready. They say the weapon will work, sir. So I know your concerns, Titus, but we may have no choice. Can we at least warn Kalgar of the danger? Impossible. The astropathic relay on Avarax has been completely surrounded. Every attempt we've made to break through the Tyranid lines has failed. Can we Vox a message in? There's a dead zone around the relay. Something's interfering with our Vox comms. We have to get inside. Emperor, save me. I've tried. Now the Tyranids have launched an attack on our defenses. We're pulling back to the fortress. We'll make our final stand there. Battlefield projection. Magnify C3. Where are you? There. The Hive Tyrant. We've had no reports. It's there. We kill it. We break the synaptic connection. It scatter like rats. A hive tyrant. A worthy adversary. And if you're wrong, if it's not there, I cannot afford to throw men after a hunch. Give me two squads. Two squads? We need to kill the hive tyrant, find whoever is jamming us, and get the message inside the relay. Six men. That's all I can spare. Use them wisely. Thank you. The Emperor protects. 